Hey guys, me here. Um, I've had to take some time off. My grandpa had surgery. Um, everything's okay, but I had to take some time off. Took some time off, and oh my god, I got a lot of freaking wrestling news stacked up on me. First of all, no surprise here, something that I had been foreseeing, Scott Steiner has made his return to TNA. They had some impact tapings. You won't see him for a couple weeks, but he has made his return to TNA. Whether he's a part of Immortals, whether they're going to make him uh, go against Immortals is unsure. I mean, I could look into the spoilers, but I prefer not to. Um, it doesn't surprise me. People will be like, oh, I can't believe he's back. Blah, 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 blah. He's probably actually only back for a 90-day contract because the fact is he is wanting to retire, and he might as well retire in a company, not in some indie little thing. So Scott Steiner is back. Just so you guys are aware, that didn't surprise me. Next, we're going to talk about Sting. Sting may be coming back, and it may be the old type of NWO thing that we saw. Remember when uh, there was the NWO in the ring, Sting rappelled down from the rafters and beat the crap out of everybody. The idea is if Sting comes back, he'll probably do very something very similar to that, where uh, he'll be talking to AJ Styles and be like, Oh, AJ, you were the man, you know all this and all that and what happened to you and maybe Sting might get beaten up uh, by Immortal and Fortune and AJ Styles snaps and actually beats up everybody else so it may be like another torch type of idea passing passing the torch on to AJ Styles from Sting um, we may not see Sting again though until probably I'm gonna guess it'll be around lockdown or so if he comes back but that'll be that uh, Shawn Michaels is being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so it looks like Jeff Hardy's going to be still at Against All Odds, but then probably after Against All Odds, it looks like he'll probably actually wind up going to jail right after Against All Odds. John Cena recently actually swore, said the word ass on, uh, hold on, yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah, apparently he did, John Cena did swear on TV, that's pretty funny, maybe we're getting into hardcore, ah, no, but anyways, he made an apology about it, um, Stevie Richards recently has quit TNA. Uh, basically, he said, you know, he, he thanks TNA for the past two years, but he felt like it was time, it was time for him to leave. Um, there were a number of. There were a number of great indie wrestlers, apparently a part of WWE in their training development program. Apparently, a lot of big names in the indie world that have been working with WWE that WWE has also released recently. I don't know all the facts about that. Um, there's a new Nexus supposed to, oh, that did form uh, with Jackson, Gabriel, Slater, Barrett. It's kind of weird. They're also talking about adding a female member. Um, Shane Helms is probably on his way to TNA. No surprise there. We saw that with Matt Hardy when he came in. We figured we'd see Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Shane Helms, uh, and Ink Ink together. That really doesn't surprise me. Do to do to do to do. There's apparently a lot of big name. Uh, there's apparently a lot of big name independent wrestlers that are actually having uh, dark matches um, with TNA that are having trial uh, trial matches within TNA to move up and hopefully sign contracts, and by the looks of it, most of the, um, most of the independent wrestlers are apparently X-Division wrestlers, so I guess the rumor does sit true still that uh, TNA is redoing the X-Division this year. Uh, it looks like also in the coming weeks you're going to see um, the They storyline is coming back where Amazing Red's little brother, which is actually bigger brother, was saying that they're coming, they're coming. Um, this is probably another indication about AAA, although I haven't heard the 
the status update about AAA. I mean, my God, those people are a pain in the ass. This was supposed to happen back in Slam or right after Slam Anniversary, but Frig, still they haven't shown up. Um, whether that is actually AAA is unknown. Hernandez is expected back probably sometime after against all odds. It's not confirmed. Somewhere probably in the month of March, Hernandez is expected back. His contract is supposed to be due at the beginning of March. And um, they're looking to revamp, uh, get him a new contract. He's apparently going to get a big TNA push, TNA heavyweight title push. Doesn't mean he's going to win the title. Doesn't mean he's not. But apparently they are interested in pushing him. Uh, oh my God, there's so much news. Um, Amazing Red is probably going to wind up getting pushed. Uh, Tommy Dreamer is still working on his character and all that. It's, it's actually, they're trying to take Amazing Red, as I've said before, and give him a different gimmick. Basically give him the gimmick he had before and the gimmick he has now. They have been contemplating giving him a mask, a full mask, kind of like Mysterio has. Um, it's, been, it's, in, it's been in the works, it's been taken out of the works. And they're, they're all over the place, not really sure what they're going to do with him. Uh, yeah, that looks like the most part. Sorry, guys, with my little stuttering here. I didn't have enough time to read all friggin' like 12 stories I got. Uh, it's been reported by my friend, uh, EHWF Vice President, the Eagles fan, 01. Um, so, I mean, credit goes to him. Thank you guys very much. Um, I do think it's kind of stupid, though. I mean, TNA signs Matt Hardy and possibly uh, signs Shane Helms, but they pass on... Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas. I disagree with that. I mean, when they released Shark Boy, they should have kept them released. They should have released a few guys, uh, Robbie E, for instance, and bring in uh, Haas and Benjamin. Speaking of Robbie E, there's apparently another Jersey Shore member, you know, from off the TV, who's apparently coming into TNA and having a rivalry with Robbie E. I don't know. It's supposed to be a one or two time thing. I really don't know the idea of that, but apparently that's that. There's still no idea yet, really, of what they're going to do with AJ Styles. I mean, he is technically injured. How long is he injured for? Minimum four weeks, maximum six months. Uh, I really haven't heard that much about Desmond Wolf yet, but uh, that looks to be the news as of this point.